The base plate is fairly straightforward. You have a rectangular feature here, and it has some extra holes on one side that are not featured on the other. So let's just go ahead and get started by going to our Inventor file, making a new 2D sketch, and sketching out a basic rectangle. Always start with your origin. It says that this has a uh, width of 0.4, or I'm sorry, 4 inches. Length is 11. And we can add the fillets to the corners now if we wish. These are all 0.5. is click on the two lines that are going to contain the fillet. Extrude this out. Has a thickness of 0.5. And now we get to make some holes. On the top side of this, you just have four holes is across the center of the part two inches down. So I'm going to click point, one, two, three, four. Make sure these are two inches down. Distance over to the first one, point four three seven five. To the next, 1.5 the third 5.5 and the last is shown from this edge 0.4375 finish your sketch Two of these holes are the exact same. It has an x2 times 2. They're countersunk. So let's click on this and also select this one. This shares the same symbol as the V shape here, so I know that's the right one. Major diameter of the countersink is 0.5. diameter to go all the way through is 0.25 and it's through all. I still want to be able to see those other points that I made earlier so I right click on sketch 2 it's hiding under the whole expansion let's make a new hole on this one it says there are two of these the exact same 0.3125 clearance hole. And I want to make sure that this is also included. So I had to click on centers first and then on the point. I turn my sketch to off again. So uncheck visibility. Let's look at the back side. Make a new sketch on here, and it's showing that it's just where this fillet would naturally have a center point. It already gives those to us. So I can just say finish sketch, click on one of them, select hole, and select the other three. All of these on the back side are number eight. 32 threads per inch UNC. So there's our tap hole, size, number 8, 832 UNC, and it is not through all, it's down a certain distance, it has a depth of 
that's the entire part. And we just have to check material type. It's called the base plate. And it says the base plate is made out of aluminum, 6061. Right click your part, properties, physical, material. Up towards the top is aluminum, 6061. Select OK and save as base plate. We're not quite done. Forgot to check the treatment of the edges here and it looks like they have nothing listed. So we're going to have to go back to our um, worksheet from Unit 5. Turns out the chamfer on this is 1 divided by 32, 1 32nd. And that's on both the front and the back. Apply. Save.